In this video I will show how to simulate these daylight images from Revit using the cloud rendering. First of all you need to have a perspective view and how to make these is shown in another video. When you have that you go to view, click on render in the cloud. This daylight simulation is not possible to do by just using render on the local machine you need to do it in the cloud. So here is written what to do. First select a 3D view. I have it here in the background. And when I have specified that, at a certain point it will pop up with a message about it's ready. And then I can go to render live gallery on the internet and download the image. So I will press continue here. In this win window it is important to make sure that I have selected the right 3D view in this case the interior view corridor the output type is also important if I want to run the daylight simulation I need to choose the illuminance type then first you need to specify the location and time so the time in this case I've chosen for this study is midday so at 12 o'clock I could also use the date from the view but to make sure it is the right time I specified it in here next step is to select a sky model there's different types of skies the first one is like a average sky the other one is different types of uh, sky these sky images tries to explain how these different skies is so if we look at the, the clear sky then there is a more concentrated light from a specific direction with a stronger light and when we look at the intermediate sky then it's more diffused more equal distribution of the light in the sky and last the overcast one is almost the same all the way around and this one should be seen as a three-dimensional sphere and not a two-dimensional as shown here they try to visualize these uh, three types of standard skies and the last one, the daylight factor sky, is let's say the worst case scenario of a grey sky. So for this specific time, it is June 21st at 12 o'clock. I suppose it's a clear sky, so I will select that one. After choosing sky model, I need to choose direct normal radiation and the diffuse horizontal radiation. Unfortunately on this point, you have to type in this manually hopefully in the future it will be uh, automatic depending on the location but these numbers you have to find in the weather file for the specific location I've chosen in this case Copenhagen in this spreadsheet I have imported the weather file that I will show in more detail in another video but just quickly explain what's going on here and what I'm looking for first of all I have specified the month I will look at in this case June and the day the 21st I have chosen a couple of days before and after to get a more average value and I have the time on day and what I'm looking for that is the direct normal radiation and the diffuse horizontal radiation and the average for the direct normal that's around 752 and for the diffuse horizontal it is 92 and the reason I take average that is because as we can see here for the 21st there is actually an average for, for the last 10 years or so a little bit more cloudy than the other days so this is not a, so to say an accurate value because the other days is more clear as we can see over here at total sky cover so 700 and 52 and 92 and this is referring to the amount of energy that hits the surface and there is a direct relationship between the solar energy and the level of light so that's why it is not in lux for example it is watt per square meter the second part or third part is the legend choosing the units I want to look at lux and I want to specify the minimum and maximum and when it's in this summer time I need to say maximum for example 10,000 I could also just set 
automatic, then it will scale minimum and maximum, but then it will be difficult to compare different proposals, so that's why I always want to specify the minimum and maximum. So that was the last step, so I could press on start rendering, and then it will upload the model to the cloud function, and after some few minutes it will pop up with the result. I could just click on continue in the background, then I can still work in my Revit model. After a few minutes, the internet address rendering 360 Autodesk will pop up. If not, I can activate it from Revit by going to view and click on render gallery and then this window will pop up. Then you will see the different renderings you have done in the cloud in the past. In this case I was rendering the illuminance as we can see here. When I click on the drop down menu then I can do different kind of stuff. I could download the image, I could delete and I could also say show this view only as you see here. I could also re-render using new settings. So just to show this, let's say I have not specified the right date and time or the legend for example, I can change this after. So I don't have to do it right first time, I can go back and re-render it. I could also change the sky model and the direct normal radiation if I haven't typed that correct in. And last I could also change the image size. Just close this one again. I would want to use this image for the holistic presentation of shadow and daylight studies. So I click here and say download image and then it will download and locate it in downloaded folder. From there I can import it in Revit and that is shown in another video. So the aim of uh, this video is to make the last image here for this presentation of the shadow and daylight and spatial views here. In other videos the other part is shown in more details and in this video the focus have been on running the simulation of these daylight images.